Howie here bringing you another adventure video. Today I'm at Sunny Isles Beach. Sunny Isles is one of the little towns north of Miami Beach. On today's adventure, I'll be using my Nocta Legend metal detector to treasure hunt a beautiful beach which I've never hunted before. I'm hoping I can find some really cool treasure today, so let's grab our gear, get down to the water, and see what we can find. Okay, I'm not too far away from the pier. I'm in this cut right here. That's a 40, real chirpy. Probably right at the surface. Aha, my first target, a penny. Nice shiny scent. And I can't make out the date, but that's okay. First target, one and a half minutes into the hunt. I'll take it, that's a good sign. Right there. 35, 36. Well, that used to be a penny. Very crusty. All right, pretty cool. Very weak 22. Right there. Not, not the kind of ring I wanted. Okay. All right, there's a 33. Right there. Hmm, it's a 40. Let's see what that is. See another penny. All right. I may or may not get in the water later. This is a Portuguese man of war. It's a jellyfish. Pretty cool, actually. So the thing about the Portuguese man of war is it can sting you even after they're dead and washed along the shore. Their tentacles are close to six feet long and they stay active. I'm finding them about every every 12 to 16 feet along the water here. There's one, you can see how big it is. It's not very big, but the tentacles go all the way down to about here. And if they're floating around in the water with this light surf, well, let me just say it's not pleasant. It's not as bad as getting stung by a lionfish or a uh, bunch of hornets, but it's definitely not pleasant. It itches pretty good. Personally, I'm lucky because I'm not allergic to it. Other people have gone into anaphylactic shock really, really fast, so you gotta be careful, especially this time of the year down here in South Florida. This guy is actually still alive. He just washed up. You can see him moving around. He's out of the water, and here's his tentacles. Man, it's like he's looking at me. Really freaky, like right out of the movies. Their bodies were now hosts, harboring an alien form of life, a cosmic form, which to survive must take over every human man. So I ran, I ran. Okay, on to my next target. An 11. Right here. Really? Hold that for tinfoil. 
That's Cancelo. All right. Right there. 28, 29. What do we got here? Yep. Just a penny. Well, I've walked all the way down to the new beach. I'm going to keep my camera pointing down so not to offend anybody. But I did just come up with a target. It's a 42. Get a penny. That's deep. Whatever it is. And it is. It's a can. Well, take that off the beach. Throw it right in the recycle bin. Wait a minute. Yep, 25, 26. Right over here. Oh, there it is. Ah. A charm of some kind. Little hand. Gonna have to clean that up and see what it is. I don't see any markings on it. But jewelry. Yeah. Alright, got a 46, 47. Well, whatever it was, I got it out. It took a while. It's over here. All that work for a penny. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm finding targets like crazy. I must have found 20 pennies already along this beach. I'm on haul over along the water. At, the tide's coming in. So I'll keep going, and then I'll turn around, and I'll walk along the, the beach towel line. And we'll see what I can find. This is interesting. I've got repeat tones. I got one, two, three. At least two. So let me dig them up. Okay, let's start with this one. I'm hoping it's a long chain or something. All right, so that was the first one, whatever it was. All right, so there's one penny. Yeah. Probably three pennies. I'm finding penny after penny after penny. Somebody had fun. That's better than finding fake doubloons. Second one is right here. Maybe. I think I see it, actually. Whoop, there it goes. Penny number two. I'm going to look at the date. I think there's a third one over here. Let's see. Yeah, whatever that is. Yep. There's another penny. That's three. Right here. Is that all? Yes. Well, that was a funny tone. It was click, 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 click. So that's a good note. That's a good indication that it's got good separation. This knocked is doing pretty good. All right. Let's keep going. 50, 52. Close to the surface. All right. At least it's not a penny. What do we got here? 19, 85. Quarter. 1985 quarter. Finally got more than a penny on the board. Man, I walked all along the shore from that pier all the way over here. I have absolutely no idea how long that is, but quite a ways. Went past the new beach, and now I'm back walking back on the dry sand. So I'm more hopeful that I find something better on the dry sand. See you in the next one. Well, I got a key. Hope that's not somebody's house. 
Right. Okay, it's not even on the keychain. It was a solid 42. Well, I'm up on the dry sand and things are looking a whole lot better, target after target. Here's a 23. Right here. <laughs> I stand corrected. It's a pull top. This is a 38, 39. I'm really hoping I find some jewelry today. Other than that little charm that I found earlier. It's a pop top. Alright. Is it out? Nope. 46. Still in the hole. And that's deep. What the hell is it? All right. Oh, what is it? Oh. What do we got here? We have ooh, a sports car. And that was deep. Gotta love the Nocta. He, uh, he goes down pretty far. Let me see. That's below the bottom. That's 10, 10 inches deep. Not bad. Gotta love our machine. Knock the legend. Gotta love it. That's a VDI of 20, 19. Let's see what that is. I've been finding pennies like crazy. So I know people have been here. That's up, whatever it is. Gum wrapper, tin foil. All right. It has iron tones in it right there. It's going from 14 to 22. Sure enough, an iron slash aluminum bottle cap. I don't know an origin. Well, this has a different tone. 36, 38. All right, 38. Yep. What in the world is that? I don't know. Part of a vape? Doesn't seem to open. I don't know. I'll check it out later. If you know what it is, leave a comment below because I have absolutely no idea. Okay. I just left Hallover Beach and I'm now walking back towards where I parked. So that's another mile or so. But here's one, a solid 50. So let's see what this is. Solid 50. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's an older quarter. So, on the dry sand over there, and I'm not going to show the video um, for all the people, but it is just jam-packed. It's a beautiful day today. As you can see, I'm pointing away from Hallover, but the water is super calm. And I am very excited. I'm going to work my way back to the pier eat some lunch and uh, then gonna go in the water because the tide has turned and it's starting to go out it'll be low tide around five o'clock and it is now 1453 so 253 three o'clock so a couple hours it'll be low tide so that'll be good excellent all right i'm gonna keep on going all right 35 another penny I think I must have found a dollar and a half worth of pennies today. Right. I'll keep picking them up. 39, 40. It's a Corona bottle cap. A very old one. So this is an 11 slash 13. Yeah, it's 11, 
Uh-oh. All right. Definitely repeatable. All right, it was deep. And this is what it was. A very long, iron-ish, very heavy stake. Huh. I don't know what it is. It was a pretty deep hole. Okay. Well, I've been digging up penny after penny after penny, and I finally got this. It's a piece of jewelry. Looks like a, a stone of some kind. Earring, maybe. All right, second piece of jewelry for today. Not bad. Well, I've been digging up pennies like crazy. All along this cut right here. It's nice. So far I found two little pieces of jewelry and I'm just about finished. This is a 19. It's probably a pull tab, but I don't know. Either way, it's probably going to be my last target for the day because it's getting dark and I need to go to the car. I might jump in the water. I don't know yet. So what is it? It's a 20. Yep, as expected, it's a pull tab. And that's okay because it's really the only other thing that I'm getting other than pennies. And like I said, a couple of little pieces of jewelry. Well, okay. it's coming up on low tide. It's about 5.15. I think we got about an hour's worth of light left. Um, I'm gonna get in the water. Let's see how it works. All right, see out there if I need any charges. Well, I'm out here. The Nocta is acting very nicely. Not very noisy. Did a ground balance before I got out here. And I'm at sensitivity 20. All metal, MW. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, super quiet, I love it. Let's see if we can find some targets. Right there. I got it. Oh, yeah, I did get it. What do we got here? I don't know what that is. All right. Well, I got it. That's a good thing. Put it in my bag. Here's my wrap up of everything found today. It was one heck of a hunting day on the beach. The targets just kept coming and coming and coming. With the Nocta Legend, I dug up everything over VDI 11, hoping to find more than just pennies. First, I'll show you the coins, then the jewelry, then I'll show you everything else. These are the coins I dug up today. There were seven quarters, 10 dimes, two nickels, four copper pennies, and 80 crusty pennies. This came to a total of $3.69, $2.89 in spendable coins, and 80 cents in non-spendable, totally crusty pennies. I was happy to find two pieces of jewelry. The first find was a Hamsa hand. It is known as the universal sign of protection, power, and strength, and dates back to ancient Mesopotamia. From what I can tell, it appears to be sterling silver, but it is very corroded. The next find was a bling earring. I don't think it has any value whatsoever, but it is pretty complete. As for the rest, I think I picked up a total of about 300 targets overall. The total inventory was as follows. Other than the jewelry and the coins, I picked up a key, a toy car, 31 bottle caps, 27 pull tabs, two beaver tails, one carabiner, one vape pen, one zipper pull, three tent stakes, one large binder clip, seven pieces of can slaw, one Jose Cuervo bottle, one really tiny rivet, and 
a little bit of tin foil and gum wrappers. Well, today was an epic hunt for me. If you like the content and want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press the like button. I'm anxious to make more videos like this and will keep them coming as quickly as I can. Thank you.